So, Christoph, a big fight coming up against Brandon Vera on UFC 102 up in Portland. Um, one of the original Team Quest founders, Randy Couture, is on the card. Um, give, me, give me your thoughts heading into this show. You know, a huge honor for me to be on this card. Um, we were offered a fight against, um, uh, what was his name? Um, we were supposed to fight him at 103. Uh, Jason Brills at 103. And uh, two days later, we got a call that Brandon Vera's opponent, Matt Hamill, got injured. Uh, and the UFC would like me to step in and take that place. And we jumped on it right away. Um, huge honor. Best time, perfect time for me to fight Brandon Vera right now. Coming off of three big wins in the UFC. Uh, mentally and physically prepared, 100%. Um, just a huge opportunity. Not to mention fighting on the same card as Noguera and Randy Couture. Uh, in Portland, on top of that, um, I fought there before. Had a great experience there. Uh, looking, looking forward to doing it again. And uh, for you, you've been on a roll ever since uh, uh, your appearance on, on the Ultimate Fighter show. Um, a lot of us got to know you on, on the IFL. Um, and then when that fell through, obviously, you got your big shot on uh, Ultimate Fighter. Um, talk about what that was like to, to go through that whole situation. And um, um, to definitely, Ultimate Fighter was really tough, for sure. Um, it's, it's more of a mental uh, mental toughness than it is uh, physical toughness. Um, being cooked up in a house with uh, you know 15 other guys, rowdy guys on top of that uh, you know no TV no radio no music no no phone calls not you don't know anything about what's going on in the world uh, for six straight weeks um, just you and 15 other guys and some coaches uh, it was definitely mentally tough and draining but uh, it made me definitely a better fighter um, improved my mental game tremendously um, learned a lot about myself mentally and physically um, I went to that fight with I went to that show with a broken hand I, I broke my hand in the very first fight to get into the house and I stayed in that house for six weeks with a broken hand um, so, so mentally and physically, uh, I def definitely, uh, definitely came out of there a better man and uh, learned a lot from that and uh, took that experience and that exposure into the UFC and uh, just made me a better fighter. Was there any way there that you weren't going to compete even with the, the hand? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, I didn't tell anybody about the broken hand until about two weeks into the house. Um, they finally found out what happened. And, uh, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, there's no way. This was a huge opportunity for me. Um, great exposure, great, great opportunity to get into the UFC. It's, I think it's every, every fighter's dream is to make it to the UFC. And this was my one chance, and uh, I was definitely staying in no matter what. That's got to be a lot of pressure, too, because you were coming off a, a pretty strong run in the IFL, but they went under. Um, did, did you feel that, or were you just like, hey, I'm just going to make the most of my opportunities? Oh, definitely, I was going to make the most of my opportunities. You know, the pressure wasn't really too bad. You know, I mean, I was the most experienced guy. Um, so the only thing I thought was that the UFC was not going to choose me to be the ultimate fighter because of my experience, because of my age. You know, being 31 years of age, having about 30 fights underneath my belt, most of the ultimate fighter guys are young, you know, up-and-coming guys, half guys who have, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fights. So for me, the shock was when I got the call saying that, hey, you're on the ultimate fighter because I've had the experience of the experience that I had. Yeah. And then uh, we also found out that you're uh, <laughs> quite the, the prankster troublemaker. <laughs> Well, to be, to be honest... Do your Team Quest uh, homeboys know about this? No, no. You know, to be honest, that was just my way of uh, getting through the stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, some people found the alcohol their way through the stress. You know, Jimmy Browning, for example, for example, of the alcohol abuse and stuff like that. And there was a few other guys who liked to drink. Um, myself was just my way to release the stress, have some fun, uh, you know, get to know the other fighters, you know, a little bit personally and stuff, and, and see if we can, you know, rub them the wrong way a little bit to have a little bit more of a camaraderie between us, between the two teams. But uh, for most of the part, there was, there was no harm, no harm, no foul. You know, I mean, it wasn't meant to be malicious or anything like that. It was just my way of releasing the stress and just, just having some fun and making the time go by a little quicker in the house. Right on. And so now let's get to this fight. Uh, I went down and saw Brandon uh, on Tuesday at his training center in Chula Vista, and uh, he he said that you guys had rolled in the past a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, he said you were huge back then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, give me your your uh, recollection of, of working. Yeah, with it was him. actually we were at Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu with Eddie Bravo and uh, Sean Tompkins, who was my coach at the time. We came in with his team, and uh, we were part of the getting into the IFL and. Uh, and I uh, had a chance to actually grapple with Brandon Vera. And, you know, he, he's way better than I was on the ground back then. Uh, I think he was a purple belt at the time. I was only a blue belt. And uh, he, he definitely did really well. I was definitely pretty big and strong, but uh, much bigger than I am now. But uh, it was a great experience for me. You know, I mean, I knew then that he was a really tough fighter and he was a young up-and-coming guy. And uh, seeing what he's done in the, in the UFC and how well he's done for himself is uh, it's just, it's just an honor for me to fight him. And I'm looking forward to the fight. He seems to, to think that getting involved in a slugfest would be would be a mistake. He thinks, you know, 
he's uh, gonna have to fight smart instead of you know leaving openings like that. Definitely, definitely. You know, what I mean, uh, we've we've watched his tape on him. We know how he fights. He's very Muay Thai oriented. Likes to stand still and use his control, control his fighters with his punches and with his kicks, keeping that distance, making sure he utilizes his kicks, his power in his kicks. Um, and you know, he's seen his last fight against Michael Pat. You know, what I mean, we do not want to fight him the same way. We do not want to fight him keeping at his range. We do not want to fight him going backwards. We want to be in his face. We want to make it a tough fight for him. Um, you know, if you look at his fight against Keith Jardine, you know what I mean? Um, Keith Jardine was in his face the whole time, was always on top of him, trying to make sure that he kept, that he fought his game plan and not Brandon Vera's game plan. And if we fall into the game, Brandon Vera game plan, we're going to lose the fight. Um, if we fight with the game plan we have set for myself uh, for the fight, uh, we're going to come away with a victory. So it's a matter of who can force the other guy to fight the way Absolutely, is. absolutely. You know, a Brandon Vera is going to have two inches of reach on me. Sorry, two inches in height on me, a couple inches in reach. You know what I mean? We do not want to be at the end of his punches and kicks. You know, he's very powerful with his kicks. He's got great hands, great movement. On top of that, his ground game is, is really good, and I heard he's got some good uh, good wrestling base from his high school days, I believe, or mm -hmm. even college days. So, you know what I mean? It, it, this is by far the toughest opponent I ever had to face. Uh, uh, um, but, you know, coming off the wins I've had over the last, you know, year, um, six six fight win streak, three fights in the UFC. Done really well for myself mentally and physically. I'm prepared 100%. Um, it's perfect time for me to fight somebody like Brandon Vera. And uh, like you said, this is your toughest opponent. The light heavyweight division in the UFC yeah. is ridiculous. I mean, Absolutely. What, what, give me your thoughts I, on I don't all think, that. I don't think there is a, a light opponent in that top 10 or top 15 right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, from 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 uh, from Machida to Jackson to. Uh, to Rashad, to Jardine, to Silva, to, you know what I mean, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's stacked right now, it's incredible, uh, um, Shogun Rua on top of that, you know, Houston Alexander was up there for a while until he got injured, so I took his place, um, you know, so it's definitely stacked, there's no easy fights at the 205 division right now, and uh, that's why I'm here, that's why I'm here at Team Quest, training my butt off and getting better and better every day, and uh, hopefully one day get my crack at that top 10. Right on, and, and uh, talk about Team Quest too, uh, yeah, your your head guy Dan Henderson just had an amazing fight, a knockout of the night against Michael Bisping. You got other guys, Soka Ju in the Super Hulk tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe Warren. I mean, definitely. Talk, uh, talk about being Jared around Safedin, these guys. I mean, uh, all our guys right now are, are winning. Uh, the team is very positive. I think over the last 16, 17 fights, um, I think we're uh, 15 and two overall as a team. Uh, Jesse Taylor just coming off a tough loss, taking a fight last minute like that against a really tough. Couple days notice. Yeah, a couple days notice, yeah. taking, a, taking a really tough fight, you know, against 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 Huron. And you know, he, Jay Huron is one of my training partners from the IFL days, so I knew this was going to be a tough fight for for Jesse, especially taking it at such short notice. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the team is very positive. We've been training together as a camp. We come together as a team every day, training together. We hang out as a team after. Um, very positive right now. And uh, like I said, it was a perfect time for me to get this fight. Sounds like it, man. Well, uh, wish you a lot of luck, and thanks again for taking the time. Uh, thank you so much for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.